everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Maria and I do makeup tutorials for today's video um, this is pretty much step two of my how to do your makeup series today we will be talking about the face makeup so anything that goes on our face including foundation concealer bronzer blush and even a little bit of highlight so if this is what you are interested in please keep on watching don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel um, also, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at mariaatbeauty.makeup. I'll be happy to see you guys there. I post often there, all the sneak peeks, um, products that I recommend, things like that. And also, if you have any questions for me, either uh, type it down below or DM me directly and I will be more than happy to answer. So for the first thing that I usually use is moisturizer. It is very important to moisturize your skin even if you have oily skin. I have an oily t-zone and dry around the edges of my face um, so with that I use something that's friendly to my oily skin. This is a gel based moisturizer usually that absorbs right into your skin it doesn't even feel like you've applied anything it just balances your skin out and it gives it that more plump and healthy glow all over. Um, the face. So again, this is from Clinique. This is the th part of the three step. Um, this is step three. I've already cleansed and toned my face and I usually just go in with this. I go about with two pumps. My hands are washed. Always make sure that your hands are clean. And I'm just gonna massage it into my skin. My next step is honestly something completely up to you and your preference and liking. Especially for me in the summer, I do like to use this product. This is called the True Match Lumi Glotion by L'Oreal. Now this is pretty much a glow lotion. Glotion. Um, it gives my face a very hydrated appearance look all over and especially under foundation it makes it look just glowy and not Right after this, I go in with my foundation. Now the foundation of choice for today's video is the um, Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. This It does say full coverage, but I don't think it's full coverage. I think it's more of a light to medium coverage in my own personal opinion. Now I've used this on a video before and it wasn't my correct shade, so I did finally purchase my correct shade. This is 128 Warm Nude. And I'm pretty sure if you go in heavier with this foundation, it will be more full coverage. But I like the sheerness of it, and I like the fact that it just makes my skin tone look more even and put together than it does without it. Um this is the Morphe Y6 from Morphe. Um, it's a flat top kabuki. It's very soft. I do like this brush a lot. And you don't want to swipe the foundation on. You want to swipe and tap. Swipe and tap. Why? You don't want to get brush strokes and also you want it to look um, more like airbrushed. So this is the airbrush tip. I like to go down my neck to make sure that everything looks cohesive and I don't have a line difference or anything like that. Next up, I'm going to just go in with a concealer. Again, I'm using the e.l.f. Hydro Camo Concealer in the Satin Finish. I'm just going to go in with a little bit underneath my eye. I 
once I'm done with that, I like to go in with a powder to set underneath my eye and all over my face. I use the Fit Me uh, powder by Maybelline. This is in the color 10. And using a more fluffy brush. This is a Gigi Gorgeous brush. I just got this in my Ipsy bag. Um, Ipsy, if you guys are not sure what that is, it's a... Um, makeup box it's a subscription monthly subscription they have different levels it started out with like the smaller bag where you get kind of like samples and maybe one full product um anything that's like 12.99 a month or if you upgrade to like the 25.99 you get all full size um products i do like it i've had it i think since they started so i do have a lot of their products and i do like it it helps me try out makeup without having to go spend the money on it or anything like that um, personally so I just take some I like to tap it into the cap and right underneath my eye again same technique back and forth back and forth For today, I wanted to use my new uh, Revolution X Roxy palette. Um, Roxy is a YouTuber as well. She does a lot of fashion videos. I think she's based somewhere in Europe. I want to say the UK. Um, and she has the cutest accent out there. So um, this is sold on Ulta's website. It was only $10 when I got it. It was actually on sale, but it is $15 regular price. And you guys, you get so many shades in here. It's so pretty. You get four contour shades, four highlighters. So first, I like using a fluffy brush. This is a Beauty Professional Flawless Powder Brush. Honestly, you guys, I've gotten these brushes as a set years and years and years ago from Sam's Club, and they've been doing pretty good. I've washed them millions of times, and they're good. So. Now they're around Christmas time, so maybe usually they'll have another one. So I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade. Always tap off the excess, and I'm gonna go in the hollows of my cheeks. So right here in the middle of my ear, I want to follow that line right about here. So if you do like the little fish mouth thing like this, right here and you want to lightly lightly I'm not pressing into my skin I am lightly grazing my skin it's very important that you lightly brush on the product I'm moving on to the third colors now I'm gonna go in with the deepest shade right here. This shade does not have a shade name, but it's the deeper one. And I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. Like it's still a fluffy brush. You want to be able to blend it on nice and easy, but it's a fluffier brush. And this is a Y5 from Morphe. And what I'll do is right in the cheekbone area, I'm gonna go back and forth and blending in like a smaller circular motion. I don't wanna blend the darkness all the way up to my cheekbone. I just wanted to leave it in here, in the hollows of my cheeks.
Okay, for the nose contour, I just saw this trick not too long ago and I like it, so I wanna try it out with you guys for the first time. So we're both gonna be learning something today. Um, I saw it on Nikki Tutorial's um, makeup channel here on YouTube as well. She took a fluffy brush. She went in with a contour shade she likes. I'm gonna start with this one. It's not the lightest and it's not darker at all. So I'm gonna start with this one. And what she did was bronze up her entire nose first. And she said it's gonna look crazy. It's as crazy as how my hair looks, but that's fine. She said it will look crazy. So we'll either ruin this look or we're gonna actually contour our nose. So let's get started. She said to bronze up the whole entire okay just as crazy as she said it would look great step one done then she said to take a loose powder I'm using the fit me by maybelline and a dry beauty sponge. This is the e.l.f. beauty sponge. I do like it, it's pretty soft. Um, it does get bigger when it's wet, but now it's just dry. I have some powder in my cap, and she said to take a hefty amount and carve out the sides of the nose. Mine does not look anything like hers, but we'll see. Then she took a fluffy brush and took all that powder off. I think it looks contoured. For today's blush, I want to use the Milani T Rose Rose The Powder Blush. I don't know, I've never read the name before. But it looks like this. It's more of a pinky, peachy blush. I think it's gonna fall out. Taking the brush I use for blush, which is the Wet n Wild brush. I'm gonna go in. I like to blend my blush upwards and into my contour to make it look nice and seamless. But focusing on the apples of the cheeks. And I do like to take it on my nose a little bit and my chin to give me a more cohesive look. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with my setting spray. This is the Morphe Continuous Mist. Taking in a piece of paper or anything, I lost my fan brush. Uh, I mean my fan. So for today, we're also gonna use the Roxy X Revolution palette for the highlighter. I'm gonna go in with the yellowish tone first and then we'll top it up off with this gold. For the highlighter, you guys, you wanna go at the highest point of the cheeks. For me, that's right here. This highlighter is beautiful. Now I'm going in with the golder, gold looking shade. <laughs> I think I, I, uh, I think I applied too much. I got a little highlighter happy. Thank you. 
So I apply my highlighter to my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And a little bit on like right here on my forehead. Sometimes you guys, what I'll do is I'll go in with a little bit of um, contour or bronzer again. And just kind of clean up around the highlighter. That is it for today's video. How to reach this type of look. I have applied foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, blush, and highlighter to reach a complete base ready for some eyeshadow, eyebrows, and I'll be out the door. If you guys have any questions, again, or if you need help perfecting any of these steps, please let me know. I can go into a more in-depth video on that. And yeah, I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. I wanted to do a like makeup check-in um for you guys so it's the end of the day it's almost 11 o'clock on sunday now i've had this makeup since about 2 p.m face makeup looks good it's a little glowy around my t-zone but i'm used to it i don't mind it these magnetic eyelashes you guys are gonna see it in next week's video I'm in love, I'm in love. Magnetic eyelashes are here to stay.